Welcome to another Go Toys Go video. Today we are going to do another We Played With It video, and today we are going to look at Play-Doh's Cake Mountain. Yeah. And there's no better way to have playtime than if you got a little one here to play with. Yeah. So say hi, little one. Hi. You excited to play some Play-Doh today? Yeah. So the first thing about Cake Mountain itself is you're going to notice that they wasted very little surface area on this thing. Almost every part of this contains some kind of mold, be it the seashells or peanuts or gingerbread man, bows, cookies, candies, and all sorts of good stuff. And yeah, if there is everywhere. There is stuff everywhere. And if there's not enough there for you, this actually comes apart and there is even more molds on top of this. It is a very versatile set, comes with tons and tons and tons of molds to do things with. So it's very hard to get bored with this quickly because you can make literally almost any sweets that you want with this. Yeah. Alright, so now I have a little bit of Play-Doh and I know you have a little bit of Play-Doh. Let's go ahead and make some cookies. You can make a cookie too. So here I'm working on mine. And we'll pull that out there and you can see that it makes a nice little cookie. We'll peel. It's a donut! Well, it's a donut? I think it's supposed to be a little cookie. I guess it could be a donut. A donut cookie! A donut cookie! Very good! Well, you want to make one? Yeah. Alright. Cookie. And you made a cookie. Excellent. But the real feature of Cake Mountain comes from the top of this here. And I'm going to remove the candles from the little candle holders here. I'll get one. And we even have a nice little holder for our fork and our knife for after we're done with our sweets, we can eat them. But the real feature comes when you open up the top. The top comes with its own little cake press. And to use the cake press, we use one of three molds that they give us. Yeah. There's a yellow one, a blue one, and a pink one. And all three of these come with a different shape of a cake that we can make. So which cake do you want to make? Yellow. You want to make the yellow cake? Yeah. Excellent. So we're going to take this mold, and you just push it right into the top. Yeah. And we have some tools. That's right. And once that clicks in... We're going to take a piece of Play-Doh. Here, why don't we use the piece that you have in your hand. I think I'm going to need a little bit more. That seems about right. We'll make a nice little Play-Doh ball. Right here. <laughs> and that's right. Hold on, we'll show that in a second. We'll put our Play-Doh ball on the top. We're going to press our mold down over it, press the plunger on the top, and now go ahead and push that on the side. And when that opens up, we should have a mold of a delicious cake. And here is our cake. Yeah. And what's nice about this is it also came with a nice little plate that we can put our cake on. So let's go ahead and make another cake. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make a different style cake. So I'm going to take this little plunger from the top. We're going to push that. We're going to remove our old mold. And we'll put a different one in. Put the blue one in. Put the blue one in. Put some pink Play-Doh on the top. Push down on the plunger. Me? Yes, go ahead. Pop the top. And we have a heart cake. That when you press down, actually creates another little decoration. Here, watch out. Push that down a little bit more. Squish it. Pull it out. And we have 
a little lollipop. As you can see, with a little added decoration, we can make a really cool lollipop. Yeah, can I taste it? Well, that's the trouble with Play-Doh. We can make yummy looking things. No. Oh, no. But was that Play-Doh yummy? Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. Well, thank goodness, the little one really didn't eat the lollipop. Did you just pretend? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what Play-Doh is for. Just pretending, huh? Yep. But one of the things with Cake Mountain is this is my first experience playing with some of the Play-Doh Plus dough. We'll open that up here. And as we can see... It really just looks like Play-Doh. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a lighter consistency. It's not quite as dense and thick as a regular Play-Doh is. And for Cake Mountain, this is made to be used in some of the decorations. We have a pink Play-Doh. And I want to open it up. And there's pink Play-Doh. Excellent. Well, let's see what this Play-Doh Plus does, okay? Okay. So here we have the first cake that we make, and then we just have a small cake decorator. You push down on the plunger, and it makes icing. And no, I'm not a professional cake decorator, so that didn't end up looking very good, huh? No. No, no I tried to fix the Play-Doh Plus icing a little bit. You can see I'm not a tremendous cake decorator by any means, but at the same time, I just kind of wanted to demonstrate something that you can do with this Cake Mountain. As I said, your imagination is uh, pretty much uh, the only limitation that uh, this yeah. dessert set has. I think this has been a lot of fun for us to play with, right? Can I make that? You want to put on some pink decoration? All right, go ahead. there excellent job little one Thanks. that looks a million times better the one thing I will note is this play-doh plus is a little bit messier than your typical play-doh so this might be one that only comes out on special occasions we usually don't play with this stuff because it's a little more flaky and and does leave a mess so we'll have to clean up after this video huh yeah so anyway you want a piece of cake yeah all right well, i'm gonna serve it up to you mm -hmm. and if you like this video go ahead like and subscribe to our channel and we're gonna go and eat some cake or at least pretend to eat some cake huh yeah all right and until next time thank you and goodbye <laughs> <laughs>